Hey guys, welcome back to 40 Plus Life, or welcome if you are new. I'm Veronica, and today is just going to be a very simple money moves invest with me video. So if that's something you're interested, please keep on watching. Let's get to it. All right, so first things first, I am going to do my investing in M1 Finance. And let me just say first, in all of my investing apps and platforms and all that. I'm sure we're all we're all seeing this. Everything is dropping <laughs> drastically. So, I guess if I'm going to start buying stuff, now is the time. So, I've got Mommy Traders March investing challenge that I need to I completed and now I'm going to put my money in these two these two stocks. So, here I am in M1 Finance and da, 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 da. so this is what I have in my pie right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add in these other ones. So I'm going to add a slice and I'm going to look for, you can't see me doing this right now, but it'll pop up. So I'm going to look for Exxon Mobil. Okay, and then I'm going to add the basket. And then I'm also going to add in VDE, which is the Vanguard Energy. I had to pause for a moment because if I look away for a second, Nugget gets into the cat food. Only Ollie's because the other cats can jump and Ollie can't. So I have to put food down for him every time he wants it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So... I got VDE and I'm going to add that to basket right now. Wait, hold on. Let me look at Exxon again just really quick. Ooh, it's now at 83. It was down to like 60 something and that would have been great so that I can, you know, mommy trader Shalise said to try and purchase the full share. But yeah, that sucks. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to click add. And now these are now here. And now I gotta split it because your pie has to equal 100%. And right now they're only at one. And I guess I've, I haven't been doing this right. So with this challenge, because these two stocks are the focus, I need to make sure that I have them actually be so the, the main that I put. So I guess 45 for all of them. And then I have no idea what the rest will be. One, two, three, four, five, six left. So and I guess I'm going to put, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one, two, two, and I think the rest will be one. Is that right? Add 2%. Oh, I guess I messed up. So then, oh, well then why don't I just do this? 46 for both of these so that they have the majority. There we go. So now my pie is at 100%, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. And click Confirm. Hopefully now I've got this down. And then I'm going to buy. And March was 31 days. So I'm not even gonna think because you know me and math. So that's fifteen fifty for each. So I'm going, well, it's fifteen fifty for each, but I'm gonna put obviously $31 because I'm buying for the entire month, okay? And it's gonna go through tomorrow. So nothing is gonna show right now, but at least it's done. So yay, I'm really excited about that. And if you guys are not yet on M1 Finance, why did I show this? If you guys are not yet on M1 Finance, what you see on the screen right here, please use my link in the description box. It, and if, I think they still have the $50 promotion. So if you, you sign up using my link and then deposit $100 into your account, then you will get an extra $50, which means you'll have 150. And then I'll get an extra 50 and I would really, really appreciate it. So let's do that. Let's help each other. <laughs> So anyways, that is in the description box below if you are not yet on M1 Finance. So, so that's all I wanted to do there. Um, 
Yeah, so M1 Finance, done. Now we're gonna go, I've got my, my mouse, come on mouse. Now, now I'm going to go into my Robinhood portfolio. Whoo, darker screen. I, I, you know, I like black and red, right? So I do like my screens to be black and one finance is very white, but I like, I like my screens to be dark. So this is so, this is why you don't look at your portfolios all the time. It's more of a set it and forget it thing because not that long ago, this was a hundred dollars higher <laughs> and it's dropped quite a bit. So, but you know what? That's okay. So I actually, well, I, I'm going to deposit money into here. So that'll just have to come at a later date, but I do have a $5 and 86 cents on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread that around. And I'm actually going to go to the ones that have actually dropped. So not, I'm not going to do anything in the green right now. Let's see where I'm at here. So these, four down to this one i have at least one full share and none of these my goodness those have dropped a lot <laughs> none of those i'm gonna wow none of those i'm gonna really mess with hmm, interesting so i'm gonna go with some of the other ones where i don't have a complete share i am just going to add to basically so let's see I am going to add to AMD because which I do like and I wish I kept my stuff before but that's okay so I had five dollars and something right so I'm just gonna add in wait dollars yes I, don't know, I always do this so I'm gonna add in two dollars okay All right, so done. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna go back. And I think I have, oh, I have $3.86 left. So now I'm gonna go to Nvidia. So right now I'm all about the tech stuff. So <laughs> that is what I'm doing. And this one I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do the full $3.86. Why not? This is so great. I swear, when I first started using Robinhood, they did not have fractional shares at all. So I was like looking for the ones where I actually had the money to like actually get a full share in this and that. And, but this is great. I love being able to have a portion. It's awesome. Okay, so that's it for Robinhood. And again, see where it says right here? If you guys click my link in the description box for Robinhood, sign up, we each get a fraction so we get a fractional share of the big three like apple microsoft and google which is alphabet so that's how i was able to get some little fractional shares of my microsoft so i really do appreciate it so please do consider that i'm happy with either one that you choose but i will tell you that Robinhood is actually my favorite platform to use that's just me and oh, I always have to say, I have to say this, I am not a financial advisor. What I'm doing is just stuff that I've looked up myself. I am I don't know what I'm doing, so don't follow what I'm saying. <laughs> Do your own research. There we go. Okay. So that's it for these two. And I do have and then the last thing I'm going to be going into is in Cash App. Also, if you guys saw this in one of my other videos, this is my little book that I am keeping track of my investments. Sorry, you can't see everything really. So I just have to write down what I've got here for April. So that will be the next thing I do. And in a future video, I will show this, but this is just for me to keep track of what I did for that month in terms of investing. So, okay, so I'm gonna go into Cash App really quick. So what anything you hear going forward is just gonna be a voiceover and yeah so let's get to it <laughs> all righty guys here we are in cash app and i just have seven dollars that i will be working with and so this is my list of stocks right now i'm just kind of messing around to see what i want to do which one i'm going to go with so i guess i'm going to start with activision and with this, I think with all of these that I'm doing, I'm gonna be just doing a dollar. 
because I have seven dollars to work with, but it's pretty amazing. Okay, next up, I am gonna go with Caesars. You know, I am in Las Vegas, so better do some kind of supporting here. <laughs> so I went with Caesars, added in my one dollar. So I changed the sorting around so to help me decide what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go with Chewy because, well, I always use Chewy. So I am going to buy into that. And with that, I buy a dollar of good old Chewy. Okay, and then I believe lastly, I went into Guess. And then this is when I was smart and I actually put in the actual dollar amount I wanted to put in. So I did $2. And that is awesome. And I have $2 left. So there is one more. And so with that, I went into Beyond Meat because being a vegetarian, that's a big one. <laughs> so I did my last $2 with Beyond Meat. And so all the stocks that I do in Cash App are ones that stuff that I that I personally use, stuff I've bought. I'm, it's all going to be stuff like tech and gaming, food, shopping, that kind of stuff. So, and that will do it for Cash App. If you guys stuck till the end, I'm going to give you guys the Japanese word of the day because I was too excited with the Happy Mail in my savings challenge video that I forgot to do the Japanese word of the day, which is probably fine because it ended up being a very long video. So let me give you a word for today. Okay, I'm just gonna give you another animal. <laughs> it's just easier, I can't, just on the spot, I can't think of anything. So this animal is for, this animal, this word is for bird, and that is tori, tori, T-O-R-I, tori. Hey, I don't think I've given the Japanese word of the day with me facing you and you seeing my lips. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope that was helpful. Okay, that little thing that is a little RoboVac, you know, you guys, those of you that know, I am saving for a Roomba, like a really good Roomba. This is one of those little cheapy ones and it doesn't work very well. So yeah, I just wanted to try it out. I had another one before too that actually worked great, but it just died. And so then I, then I bought this one because it had good reviews and then it just doesn't work very well. So I really just need to spend the money on a Roomba and not little cheap versions because you get what you pay for, right? Okay, I just had to throw that out there in case anyone was wondering why there's something there that looks like a Roomba. Okay, it's like this little tiny thing. It's just like this big. That is it. Now for sure, that is the end of this video. Please give a big thumbs up if you liked it. Please comment, please comment below, let me know what you think, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, gripes, whatever. Just let me know. And if you are new, please do consider subscribing. And I just have to say that today was a sucky day in, the term, in terms of the weather, I guess. It was really, really windy. But it was so windy, like if you were in Vegas today, this was not the day to be in Vegas because it's a desert, right? So all the desert dirt and dust was clouded the entire sky. Like when I went to lunch and I came home, it was a blue sky. When I walked to Nugget, you know, we did our thing, it was fine. I drive back to work because I have a very long lunch, like two and a half hours. When I went, drove back, the sky was completely covered in this desert dust and yeah. So, but hopefully it's not like that tomorrow. We'll see. But I think the storm, this wind storm that came through here is now going to the east. So I am so sorry. Ugh, awful. Okay, you guys have a wonderful day. Remember to stay happy and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Is that my moo moo? This is Mochi, my 17 and a half, almost 18 year old boy next month, the big 1 8. And of course, who has to be here at all times where I'm at? Nugget. Is that you, dirty boy? <laughs> Sit. Sit. Shake.
That's a good boy. Good boy.